Hey guys, welcome back to Vitamin Y. So, as you can tell by the title, this is the deck profile for U Bell Fire Kings. So, right now you're getting the deck profile for U Bell Fire Kings, and then at 1 30 Pacific Time, 4 30 Eastern turn Time, you will be getting the first episode of Vitamin Y with the new deck. Don't want to spoil it for you guys. So, we're just going to quickly go through this deck. I'm going to explain what my choices were, and uh, yeah, we'll just move on from this deck. So, it's like a, a farewell to this deck who has pretty much been. On Vitamin Y since the beginning, since it was pretty much, you know, Vitamin Y forever since it pretty much came out. You know, it was to honor one of my uh, friends who also played Yu Bell Sorota. I felt like we really couldn't have, you know, a series where we played different Yu Bell decks without having, you know, Yu Bell Fire Kings, the one of the decks that she's famous for. So we went ahead and did it. But then as time progressed, the deck started to change less and less into Yu Bell and more and more into just pretty much Fire. Fire Kings, and then you know, it wasn't that entertaining because you'd rarely see U Bell in the plays anyway. And if she was, she just got in the way, and it really didn't have a lot of synergy. So, you know, it's not the same deck that she made, but definitely it's still just Fire Kings with U Bell splashed in. So let's go ahead and get started. So, run three U Bells. It's the only deck where I say you should run three U Bells just because it's so easy to search out Yaksha if you don't. Um, start off with some Grudic plays, you can go ahead and go with Yaksha, and Yaksha can go ahead and stall it out. Well, Yaksha can destroy the Yubel, and then the Yubel can summon Terra, and Terra can stall it out for a little while. So, uh, to help you get Yubel more often, you run three, and I, I was just trying out, didn't, it wasn't hurting, it just kind of got in the way at times, because, you know, I don't blow up Grunix and Yubel, and it's like, well, I'd rather destroy Grunix and Yubel, because Grunix at least a, a 27 beater, at least, so Terra would just be sitting on the field, tooling his thumbs waiting for, you know, uh, Phoenix to be involved, and sometimes, you know, Phoenix would never be summoned, so, uh, yeah, so, it wasn't bad, just kind of got in the way. One tear, one ultimate, you know, you don't need more, like I said, this is not a U-Bell deck, this is a Fire King deck, so running any more would just clog up the shit, so, it sucks when you draw these, because there's really not much you can do with them, you know, I mean, I guess you can destroy them with Yaksha in your hand, but why, you know? There's no discard outlets like Armageddon or Dark Greff or anything like that in this deck, so if they're in your hand, you're pretty much stuck unless you draw more than, you know, uh, six cards and you're discarding through the end phase, because that's pretty much it, or you're destroying with Yaksha. Let me run three Grunixes. I know some people are like, oh, two, no, three, three. You need to run three, because now since you have Yaksha... You need to run three. When you didn't have the option two, it's fine. You didn't want the clock. You didn't want it in your hand. Now, sure, why not? You know, I can search him through Flamesville Fire Dog. I can search him through Tanky. So, and he's himself. So it's like having like what nine copies of him. So definitely, he's really good. So I definitely recommend that you run three and just a regular Fire King deck because you have the option with for you. They have one Sacred Phoenix. Sacred Phoenix is a really good combo with Terra Incarnate, and it's probably one of the key reasons why this deck was on here, is because that was one of its key combos, and probably one of Yubel's original combos. So you have Terra on the field, and you have Sacred Phoenix. You end your turn, Terra would destroy Sacred Phoenix, destroying all monsters. Then you pass to your opponent. During your stem of phase, Sacred Phoenix will come back and destroy all spells and traps. So it's end phase monsters sent by phase spell and traps. End phase monsters, so you're pretty much getting... You're, you're just dark holding and heavy storing, storming your opponent, you know, every other turn, which is just great. The thing is that Sacred Phoenix isn't that strong, it's only a 24 beater, but the thing is that your opponent can't grab it, because during your end phase, you're killing it, and then it comes back during your standby phase. It's not like Runix where it comes back every standby phase. No, it's just your standby phase, so it, your opponent really can't grab it. So the only way they can really get out of that combo is to, you know, you know either, like, play like a bottomless or something, something to stop uh, Hager Phoenix from coming back, or, you know, break Terror and summon Ultimate, so, it's just a really difficult combo to get out of it, and it burns a lot of resources for your opponent, and, you know, if your opponent stops setting monsters, and, and they know they're gonna back, their back rows can get wiped during your stab phase, and you can just keep on poking them for 24, poking them for 24 until game. Next we run three uh, Flameville Fire Dogs, and deck changed as uh, things progress. I used to run the little baby Grunix to help with consistency, you know, with uh, summoning the other ones like a uh, uh, Brong and uh, Yakshram. But uh, the one key reason why this deck made such a huge change is that Rekindling went down to one. With Rekindling down to one, I kind of felt like, you know what? Why not? Instead of like, oh my God, this card is stupid broke. It sh it shouldn't be at three because it shouldn't have been at three. But at one, it's kind of like a cutesy card. So I was like, why not? So to increase my uh. I mean, my uh, 
rekindling targets. I went ahead and put in uh, Flame Bell Fire Dog. Can't search it with a uh, tanky, but it's still a 19 beater, 200 defense. When it destroys opponent's monster by battle, I can uh, special summon one fire monster with 200 defense uh, or less from my deck, except for Flame, flame Bell Fire Dog. It's hard to say. Oh, you know, I can go ahead and summon Yaksha. I can go ahead and summon Barong. and go into an XC if I need, if need be. So, uh, definitely just a decent play. Go ahead and pull off. Next, we run pretty much the best card in the deck, Fire King Yaksha. Great, 18 beater with 200 defense, and uh, no one really uses this, uh, his first effect. That if a Fire King, your monster would be destroyed. A card effect you can special summon this card from your hand. These people are usually gonna do that, but its best effect around here. Uh, if this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one card. No, you can do. <laughs> you can special. Summon. This card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Period. By uh, by battle, by card effect, by your card effect, by your opponents. You can destroy one card in your hand or that you control. And you can only use the effect of uh, Yaksha once per turn. But uh, one of the best plays you can do, and one of the key reasons why this deck was even made with you know with U Bell in it, is because you can have Yaksha be destroyed, and then you can destroy the U Bell in your hand, which will summon Terror. You can also destroy the Greenix in your hand, Sacred Phoenix, Brong, so uh, lots of things to destroy. Yaksha is just you know the best monster in the deck, and you shouldn't be running Fire Kings without it. And one Wolf Bark, you got a lot of targets, a lot, a lot of targets. You know, target one level four beast. Warrior type monster in your graveyard, special summon and uh, place up defense position, and its effect is negated. And you can only use the effect of Wolf Bark once per turn. Uh, you Instead of just having Bear, uh, you have Bear, Gorilla, uh, Barong, you have Yaksha. So if need be, you can go ahead and go Wolf Bark, Wolf Bark, summon back uh, Yaksha and defense with this effect negated. But Yaksha effect resolves in Grave, so your opponent would kill. If your opponent would kill it, you still get Yaksha's effect, and you still get to destroy something in your hand or that you control. You can also go into C plays one card C, so really good. Uh, next, you run Barong. I was I used to run this card at one before the deck got changed, but once again I bumped it up because of rekindling, and I noticed how good it was at three, and I was wondering why the hell I ran it only at one. I think it's because Sroda only ran it at one, and I was just going with her, but definitely, I mean, if anything, it's still an 18 beater. 19 was tanky. And, uh, one of the great things that you can do with it, not since you have, like, Yaksha's and stuff like that, is you can go ahead and just destroy this, and then during the next round of phase, after this card was destroyed by card effect, since it's a graveyard, you get to add one Fire King card from your deck to your hand, period. So you can add another Yaksha, you can add, um, you know, a Grunix, you can add Onslaught, you can add Circle, so, um, you know, you can just pretty much add whatever you want, so, uh, definitely... Except for Barong himself. No, in, in the end, if, it, if it's not anything that can be destroyed by card effect, that you can destroy this way by card effect, that's still an 18 beater. You can still bring it accurate through kindling. So, I definitely recommend that you should run more than one copy, than, like I was running, running previously. Next, you run one gorilla. I just recently put this in. Uh, I put this in because, you know, I had extra tankies and I could go ahead and throw them, well, flip the table on them, on, you know, some back row. Uh, one of the funniest plays I actually did while this deck was on vitamin Y is that my opponent used, um, uh, guarded treasures, and, you know, they thought they were going to sit on it, and they thought I was going to let them do that, and I just went, nope, go activate tanky, get gorilla, summon gorilla, flip the table on that shit. Alright, let's clear that up. Gorilla, gorilla flips the table. Bear throws the chair. Yeah, get those, get those cleared up. And then he quit, because, you know, he was so down on the resources. You know, I'm still hella up, so he just quit. So, uh, the spelling trap destruction's not bad. Also, when it destroys the opponent's monster by battle, you get to go ahead and set one of your uh, fire formation spell cards directly from your deck, unlike Bear, who has to do uh, damage. To tell you the truth, I'd rather do damage than destroy a monster by battle, but hey, whatever. So, I mean, do we, do we really need to know who's better between Bear and Gorilla? Should be obvious. Anyway, one Bear. Bear. Bear throw a chair, flex damage, destroy a monster. Just bam, take that chair, and go ahead and get another chair. If you run a three onslaught, that should be a given. If you control no monsters and your opponent does, you can special summon one fire beast, beast warrior, wing beast monster from your deck. It's fixed and negated, and it's destroyed during the end phase. All right, so this is one of the stupid cards that Konami decided to go ahead and give the the structure deck is that you can go ahead and summon your boss monster from your damn deck. 
with pretty much no cost or no anything. You know, it doesn't even say you can't attack this turn or anything. It's just like, it's a fixed or negated. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, we're going to fix or negated, but then it gets destroyed and it resolves in the graveyard. Then it comes back next turn, standby phase, and wipes the whole field. And they kind of put some more stipulations on this card. Like, you can't, uh, you know, like, for example, you can't special summon any other monsters this turn. You can't summon any monsters, period, the rest of this turn. Uh, you can't conduct your battle phase. Anything? No. Just, just obvious shit. It's fixed or negated. So? So? It's destroyed during the phase. It's Grunix. Grunix wants to be destroyed. So, so? Like, they, 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 they just, they just opened a whole Pandora's box with this card. Like, this was one of the stupidest structured cards I've seen in the cool minute. It just says, summon your boss monsters. So why the fuck not? You know? Whatever. Run one rekindling. You have a lot of targets. You have dog. You have, uh, you have Yaksha. You have Barong. So, lots of targets to go ahead and just bring them all back and kick your opponent's butt. I don't think I've ever pulled it off since uh, it was added to the deck in Vitamin Y, but hey, it's still there. I mean, it's that one for a reason, so it's going to be harder to get, right? And we run three circles. Circle is a really great card. Uh, you can go ahead and target one fire monster you control and one fire monster you grade. Destroy the first one and then summon the second one to get you out of some tricky situations like, you know, when you summon your green and your opponent tries to bottomless, you're like, nope, I'm leaving. You can deal with this guy and then they're bottomless with Fizzle. Or if they try to, you know, eat you with a 101, you'd be like, nope, I'm gone. <laughs> so, uh, definitely a really good card. Good card. And then, of course, the first monster that was destroyed go ahead, will get its effect. Uh, so this is one of the key ways you can go ahead and get your Garunix loop, or, you know, Garunix summons Garunix, destroy Garunix, and then you kind of just loop the Garunixes every single standby phase. It's really, it's really stupid. But, Fire Kings aren't really topping, so he's not really, like, you can be like, oh, I'll hit this and hit that and hit this, so, eh, whatever. Of course we run three tanky. There's so many targets for tanky that you should be running tanky. You know, you got Yaksha, you got, well, uh, Wolf Bark, you got Barong, you got, uh, Bear, you got Gorilla, so definitely Tanky, so good. Definitely, search it up. Run three Lance, because fuck back row, so. Uh, I was pretty much in my rebellious phase of MST, where I didn't like blind, blind spacing, and I would rather ask for forgiveness than ask for permission, if you guys don't know what that means. I would rather, you know, play something, it w they would try to respond, and I'd block it with a Lance and try to be like, eh, I think it's this one. Is that the right card? Did I hit the right card with MST? Um... Of course, times have changed, and, you know, Lance isn't that good anymore. Uh, the good thing is, uh, Wiretap, that's the new shit, because people are running Brick to Skill, and if they hit you with Brick to Skill and you block with Lance, well, it's still in the graveyard, and it might get you later, so. It's better to, you know, deal with it with just, uh, Wiretap, you know, just put it back, and, uh, then you won't have to deal with Brick to Skill for, hopefully, a cool minute, and you can still get off your place. But Lance is still good, I still like Lance, it's just, I wish it wasn't you know, as bad right now, but, you know, I like how you can block from spell and traps, I like how you can play during the damage step to, you know, make your opponent lose 800, and, you know, that can help you win a lot of battles, so, the usefulness of Lance will be missed, it's, it's slowly going down in price. Run one Dark Hole, that should be a given, I would run Dark Hole even if this wasn't a Fire King deck, but I just like Dark Hole anyway. Run one Foolish up, you get set up, and then you can go ahead and Foolish something, and then bring it back with the Akshar, or, you know, you can just go ahead and, uh, Foolish you Bell, then you can go ahead and, like, activate Circle, summon Sacred Phoenix, set the Call of the Hunted, there you go, you got your, you got your Terror Phoenix loop right there, so, uh, just helps, uh, just helps with setup. Run three Call of Haunteds, uh, as you can see, there's other things that you want to bring back, there's no Limit Reverse, because the only monster that has a thousand less is you Bell, and you really don't play you Bell, so I ended up taking out the Limit Reverse, so it's just Call of the Haunted, so it's the only thing that you're gonna use in Revival, and then one Torrental because it's a Fire King deck, so, yeah. After deck, I kind of just slopped together, and just, I really didn't care about it, so whatever, so, two one oh ones because, oh, I looked over, this card is, what the fuck, That's, that, that must be like the security, that card, there's no way that card is like $11. I thought, I looked at it, one one I'm like, when the hell did one one become $11? No, there we go. 101, two one oh ones one Diamond Dyer, uh, two uh, of the, Fire Fist King guy get help you get your tankies. Uh one Exiton, one level of chain, one my stroke because sh why not? Like this deck pretty much had a toolbox left, so you know what why not? You can even put that XYZ Rebellion Dragon in here because why not? Um uh, Cowboy for Bang Bang Ski Ski G G Black Ship is actually good and you should be probably putting it back in your extra deck. 
uh, you know, hands are a thing, so you can go ahead and send them so you don't have to keep on dueling with their ass, so, yeah. Um, uh, Roach, I don't know why, because why not? There's not really much you can hit with them, this format, so. So I guess, don't really play Roach. Dweller, because he's good. Uh, Gemite Pearl, because why not? <laughs> See? But at this point, <laughs> uh, Harlan Draco, because he's good, and you have tankies, so. He's good. <laughs> And, uh, Ragnar Zero, because she's a bitch, so, yeah, she's a boss-ass bitch, so you run her. Alright, so, this was the deck profile for Email Fire Kings. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for supporting this deck on Zyman Y. It's, it's been here since the beginning, and, you know, I appreciate the love that you gave it, but, you know, it was getting kind of stale, and I can understand where you guys are coming from. I'm glad that you guys pretty much agree with me when it came to, you know, the whole replacement video, so... It's finally time for this deck to be gone, so, like I said, at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Time, uh, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time, you will be getting the first episode of the Evo deck that will be replacing it. So, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, and I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.